Hi, I'm Andrea with Do Yoga With Me. And if you've heard anything about Hanuman, the monkey-headed god, you know there's about a million stories that go along with his mythology. And there's about a million ways to get into the pose as well. So I'm going to show you one of them today. I'm going to tell you one story. So this is uh, one of my favorite Hanuman origin stories, and it's about his mother, Anjana. And so Anjana is desperate for a child. So every day she's out there and she's praying, praying to the gods to bless her with a child. She places her hands in Lotus Mudra and she extends her hands up towards the sky and she prays and prays and prays. And so one day, Vayu, the god of the wind, he hears her prayer and he drops a few little grains of rice into her open hands, which become the seeds that become Hanuman. So we're going to move into Hanuman in this one variation. You're going to need two blocks for this practice and let's do this. All right, so we're going to work into my variation of Hanumanasana. Um, it might be a little bit different than what you've tried before. So we're going to start with a little bit of core. We're going to start with Navasana. So you're going to place your uh, feet out in front and grab one of your blocks. You're going to place your blocks in your inner thighs, and then you're going to crisscross your right ankle over top of your left. Lean back into your boat and hug your belly in. Draw your pubic bone towards your navel and lift the top of your heart. And then from here, bring your hands into Lotus Mudra, your baby fingers and your thumbs connected. Your other fingers are gonna stay wide. Now you can stay right here, squeezing onto your block if you like. If you've got any issues with the lower back, stay here. To give yourself a little bit more challenge, lean back, lift your feet up off the ground, and then lift your heart. So we're gonna stay here for a couple of beats. If you wanna start to work your legs a little straighter, great but use that block to hug in. Because the idea here is we're gonna to start to draw the outer edges of the body a little more inwards. Because when we're lifting up into Hanuman, you need that action, that action of the lift. So stay here, breathe, five, four, three. You might feel a little rumble, a little tremor, two, and one. All right, so come on back. Take a moment of respite, just bring the soles of your feet together. A little soft butterfly just to release the hip flexors around through your upper back. And then we're going to go right to the other side. So sit yourself back up again. Block between the thighs. Hook your left ankle over top of your right. Lean back into the depth of your Navasana, your boat pose, and bring your hands to lotus. Lean back as far as you need, and then option to lift your feet up off the ground. Keep lifting the top of your heart up a little higher. And again, hug the outer edges of your body inwards. Press into the block, lift your belly, lift your heart. Maybe even lift your gaze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Soles of your feet together once again. Come forward into butterfly. Just allow your hip flexors to relax. And then make your way upright. You're going to come on to all fours. Okay, so. Obviously, for Hanumanasana, we do need our hamstrings to be quite open. So you're going to step your right foot forward. If you need a little bit more length in your arms, you're more than welcome to place those blocks underneath your hands. If you need a little cushion for the back knee, by all means, use a cushion for the knee. We're going to flow forward and back here. So sink down into your low lunge, lift your heart, and then exhale. Slide back, pull your toes up, curl your forehead towards your shins. We're going to pulse forward and back like this, getting into the hip flexor on the left and then the hamstring on the right. Come forward to lunge. Come back to your half Hanuman. And one more time, come forward to lunge. I'm going to move the blocks off to the side from here. Bring your hands to the top of your thigh. All right. So, as mentioned, Anjana, she is the mother of Hanuman. 
And Anjanayasana, low lunge, is the mother of Hanumanasana, which is the splits. You can't get into the splits without doing this low lunge first. So you're going to press into your front foot. Press your right big toe into the mat. Hug the outer edges of your body inwards. And then bring your baby finger and your thumbs to connect. You're going to take the shape right over top of your head. And you're going to move this whole shape a little bit further forward. But keep drawing your pubic bone in towards your navel to stabilize your lower belly to keep this out of your low back. Now this lotus mudra over your head symbolizes the openness of Anjana's hands to receive the blessings of Vayu. She's waiting for those grains of rice to fall into her hands. So pause here and wait to receive the blessings of this deep lunge and breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release your lotus mudra. Grab your blocks again. And this is it. We're going to slingshot our way back into our Hanuman. So you're going to use the blocks. They're going to be on your highest height. Tuck your back toes, and you're going to move your back knee back. Then you're going to walk your blocks back. You're going to move your toes. You're going to move your knee. You're going to move your blocks. I'm going to look over here. Toes, knee, and blocks. And you're going to keep on going until your front leg starts to straighten. Keep your toes lifting up towards your shin. And then maybe for that extra bit of support, slide a block right underneath the front of your thigh. And here's the sensation of the outer edges of your body drawing inwards. So hug everything in and you'll feel yourself lifting up. You'll get a little taller. And then from here, Lotus Mudra, lift it up towards the sky. And you'll see here, Anjanayasana, the mother of Hanumanasana. Breathe deeply, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Now the trick is getting as gracefully out of this as you came into it. So slide the blocks out from underneath you and pull yourself forward. It's almost like using crutches and then slide your knees back underneath you. Just for a moment, just to release the hip flexors, come into a child's pose. Get ready for all of that on the other side. So come back up to all fours. Step your left leg out in front. And once again, your course, you're welcome to use your blocks. Sometimes it's just nice to use your blocks so that you can give your arms a little bit more length, so you can move a little bit more forward and back. So we'll sink forward into the low lunge, lift your heart. As you exhale, pull back, lift your toes. Inhale to come forward. Exhale to move back. One more Kriya forward and back. And then let's set up for Anjanayasana, low lunge. All right. Move my blocks off to the side once again. Bring my hands to my thigh. From here, I'm going to allow my hips to sink down, my pelvic floor to sink down towards the earth, but I'm going to continue to engage my pelvic floor, draw my pubic bone in towards my navel. Press down through that left big toe to stabilize, and then reach your arms up and overhead. Join your lotus mudra together. Lift it up towards the sky. So even as you move your lunge a little bit more deeply forward, you're still drawing the outer edges of your body inward. So you're still lifting up even as you descend. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release the low lunge. Grab your blocks once again. Bring them to their highest height. We're going to slingshot our way back into Hanumanasana. So toes, back toes, then your back knee, and walk your blocks. Then keep repeating. And what I like about moving backwards into Hanumanasana is that it's a little bit easier to keep our hips pointing forwards. So this is why I take it from this approach. 
So sooner or later, you're gonna get down low enough, your toes are gonna lift up off the ground. Maybe you slide that block underneath to support your thigh. This also keeps a nice little micro bend in that knee. Zip your hips up, hug the outer edges of your body inwards. Start to lift, take your lotus mudra, lift it up towards the sky. Breathe here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. All right, let's get ourselves out of this one. Back to child's, child's pose once again. This time I'm gonna take my knees as wide as the mat. I'm gonna sink my weight back into my heels, hips into heels. I'm gonna leave my blocks out in front of me so I can get a little bit more of a shoulder stretch. So hands on the blocks, forehead towards the earth. Last breath in and out. Walk your hands back and so that's just another way to think about getting into Hanumanasana. I'm going to sit here and butterfly for a little bit so I can allow my hip flexors to get a little bit of rest, you know, flutter my butterfly wings a little bit. But thank you for joining me for this little exploration of the splits. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll see you soon.